the idea that America would start jailing leading political officials for purely political reasons, it's something that's never happened again. And I don't know how it's going to change us. Is it going to ruin the country? Is it going to ruin the republic? Is it going to lead to uh, grand juries in uh, Mississippi or Texas or Florida indicting Biden and Schumer and Pelosi? I don't know. Uh, but now we're no better, at least in New York, than Putin's Moscow or uh, Xi's Beijing or Fidel Castro's, I guess he's not around anymore, Castro's Havana. I mean, Cuba, China, Russia, and the United States. How, why would we want to be among that crowd in how we uh, target politically people for prosecution? These are, these are, this is a, um, a, a dire threat to the rule of law. Uh, it's designed to, as I said in the statement, interfere in our elections. No one's fooled. No one's fooled that this is a legitimate prosecution. And you can see how things are shaking out. You have Democrats pretending it is, embracing this anti-American attack on the rule of law. You even have some Republicans who are uh, frankly too silent on it because they don't like Trump, further highlighting the political nature of it. Look, you had Nancy Pelosi say that, well, Trump can prove his innocence in court. I mean, that just confirms just how political this process is because you don't, quote, prove your innocence in court. You're presumed to be innocent. But when it comes to Trump and the left-wing Democrats, you're presumed to be guilty.